Hey everyone, welcome to this daily Sidero Astrology forecast for Thursday, May 14th, 2020. All right, so today we have the moon shifting from responsible Capricorn uh, going into more progressive Aquarius going into tomorrow. So the first part of the day is still good for things that require discipline and responsibility, but uh, especially the later part and into tomorrow, maybe getting into some of that progressive, innovative, and future-oriented side of ourself, which is Aquarius. Now today, Jupiter is stationed retrograde, so this is now starting a four-month period of reworking or re-examining our perceptions in life. So maybe today a bit of a pause with our perception on things, anything that involves possibilities, philosophies, outlooks on life, good to maybe start to notice a shift with that and going into a reworking process. Now today we do have the sun trining up to deep Pluto, so there could be some empowerment with the way we're expressing ourselves today. And if there is anything we do wanna focus on that does involve deep diving, truth, depth, could be a very good day to do that. All right, so let's take a look at all of this here in more detail when I return. All right, so here's the sky for this Thursday. And again, we are using the actual visible sky on this channel, which is different from mainstream astrology. And the signs do change by sometimes up to two signs. So if you are new to the channel, definitely check out that link down below for more information on true sidereal astrology. All right, so let's take a look here at the moon's placement, which represents the theme of the day, shifting from responsible Capricorn, where the theme was yesterday, of maybe taking care of responsibilities, doing things that require discipline or that long-term uh, view of life. But uh, going into tomorrow, we'll probably start to feel a bit of the progressive energy of Aquarius. Um, and so that could be good for innovating, seeing our future aspirations, and maybe even getting into some collective energy with groups, community, or focusing on the world at large. This very progressive side, probably the theme mostly tomorrow, but probably the later part of today, especially if you're further west in the world. All right, so with this, uh, we are in the third quarter phase of the lunar cycle now, which means a week ago we had that full moon. And so if there was any shifts of awareness since last Thursday, could be a really good part of the week now to challenge ourselves to implement, right? Really good part of the week for integration, setting intention, taking action to really ground and develop whatever shifts of perspective have been going on since the past week. Now, since then, we've had the sun shift into a very earthy, constellation in the sky of Taurus, adding to the earth energy here today. So the larger context of the next month plus, we'll be focusing on cultivating our inner and outer resources. Taurus the bull is about taking things one step at a time, cultivating our inner strength, and externally connecting to things that are natural or beautiful, or involve abundance or comforts, right? Those earthy elements of life could be really good to focus on and think about with Mercury as well, and perhaps may, maybe re-examine some of these values and enjoyments about these natural or material or grounded elements of life with Venus retrograde. But today, adding to the retrogrades, we do have Jupiter now going station retrograde, <clears throat> which will be his next four months roughly, of uh, re-examining our perspective. And this happens once a year, and it is a bit deep, so it doesn't involve that much of our personality. But if we do you know, bring that awareness today, we may notice that our perception is starting to shift, yeah, at least slow down, right? Jupiter's station paused in the sky, about to go retrograde, so it's usually the shift of perspective. And so what's starting is the next four months of maybe starting to look at things from a different angle. Right, Jupiter being about our perception, our beliefs, our philosophies on life, our outlook on things. Good to start to see from different angles, start to experiment with. And this could maybe lead to seeing new opportunities, new perceptions, new philosophies, new outlooks right during the retrograde. So good to notice that pause today. It's going to take some time for Jupiter to build his momentum retrograde, but maybe noticing that it could be a good time moving forward to start to look at things from different angles. Now going into tomorrow, we do have the sun trining up to Pluto. So especially as the day unfolds uh, and going into tomorrow, and again, strongest if you're further west, for the later part of the day, we will have this empowering energy. Pluto is a planet of deep transformation, of empowerment, of truth. And with the sun being such a vital part of our life force, this is supporting very much that deeper outlook on life. So as the day unfolds, really good for anything that involves empowerment, 
transformation, deep diving, expressing the truth, creating in a deeper way, right? We do have that lens of viewing life in that uh, deeper dimension, which can be very empowering. This part of the week going into tomorrow, maybe there are some things that you can face some fears with, challenge yourself with, that you know, do things you normally wouldn't do, maybe because there was attachment or fear, which now there is maybe more of a willingness to make those changes or do those things in the face of any fears or inhibitions, which Pluto can often bring to the surface. So a very empowering day as a potential for that. And I would say anything you can channel that deeper perspective into things, whether it's research, uncovering deep truths, expressing the truth, things of this nature could be very supportive going into tomorrow. All right, so that's the day in a nutshell. Again, third quarter phase of the lunar cycle. How can we integrate this resourceful energy of the larger lunar month um, around Taurus, that steady inner strength development and cultivation of our outer resources <clears throat> while seeing the long road, the first part of the day with Capricorn, discipline, patience, responsibility, and as the day unfolds, getting into more of that progressive, innovative, and future-oriented side of ourself. Maybe a shift of perspective here today with Jupiter going station retrograde for the next four months, and then as the day unfolds, maybe some empowerment with Sun trine Pluto. All right, so everyone have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click that like button if you haven't yet. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe for more daily videos, and I will see you all tomorrow for the next Daily Forecast. Take care.